Hey everybody, Pastor Jim here from the Indian Lake Community Church and the Lighthouse of Indian Lake. I hope this finds you happy, safe, and well on this Thursday afternoon. I was thinking about uh, today's talk and devotionals and what I wanted to uh, talk about, and it occurred to me that uh, I get motivation or inspiration uh, for these things from different places. Sometimes it's uh, something, uh, a scripture that I've read that really speaks to me that I want to share some thoughts on. Sometimes it's uh, events happening in the news. Sometimes it's a song that I hear. Sometimes I'll read something inspirational from somebody and it, it encourages me to, to think and expand on it. So inspiration or motivation to do these videos comes uh, from many different places, many different forms. Today's motivation and inspiration for me to sit down and talk uh, today comes from the fact that Char's got a wheelbarrow out and she is going around the entire pond on our property and pulling the weeds. And so I am motivated and inspired to make this video today because the longer I sit and talk to you or the longer I sit and turn the camera off and just pretend like I'm talking, the less likely it is that she'll ask me to come out and help her push the wheelbarrow and pull the weeds. And so I am inspired uh, to share some thoughts with you today. And this could go on a while, uh, just so you know. <laughs> but uh, and, and I actually had a second inspiration uh, for things that I wanted to share with you today. And that is a scripture that I read earlier in the week. And so Psalm 139, verse 23 and 24. I read this earlier in the week in one of my devotionals uh, that I do here. And it really spoke to me because it, you can read it in two, two ways, really, it speaks to me. Um, so when you consider 23 and 24 uh, from the Psalm of David, Psalm 139, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Now there's there's two ways that you can take this with the literal wording of uh, to, to know my anxious thoughts. Sometimes when we're feeling anxious and sometimes when we have anxiety, we don't even really know why. It's, it's hard to put our finger on exactly why we're feeling that way. And there are techniques that people use where they will identify uh, concrete real things around them to ground themselves in reality and to take some of the power of that uh, unknown the anxiety away and and by doing that they're able to overcome anxious uh, thoughts worries and fears and so uh, by saying God search me and know my anxious thoughts now we're taking it a step further because we are now not just uh, identifying things around us but we are asking the God of peace to come into our hearts, to search us, to know our anxious thoughts, and to reveal to us what is real to him and real to us in our faith. And that is just such a powerful way to say, God, I'm, I'm feeling anxious, I'm feeling worried, I'm feeling concerned. I may not even know why. Search me and reveal to me what is real, that I might put my faith and trust and confidence in you and, and have that peace that we seek, that peace that surpasses all understanding. And that's the first way that uh, this inspires me is because sometimes if I'm anxious or worried, I may know why, and I can turn that over to God. But sometimes if I don't even know why, I can still turn that over to God and say, search me, know, know my anxious thoughts, reveal these to me, you know, inform me, enlighten me, and bring me your peace. And that's a powerful tool to have when we're feeling that way. But, but the second way that we read it, and, and one of the ways that David intended it was this. He was like, search me, O God, and know my heart, uh, and reveal to me the wrong ways within me. Uh, reveal in me sin that I may not even know that I am committing or, or harboring. He's, search me, God. Search me and lead me in the way everlasting. If there's any offensive way in me, God, uh, reveal it to me and, and show me that I might live in your ways and live in peace and, and to follow your will. That is is really powerful. And I'll tell you why, because I have never once thought, you know what I should do? I think I'm gonna invite the IRS to audit my tax return. That'd be a good idea. That way I know that if I'm doing anything wrong, they'll point it out to me and I won't do it anymore. Sure, I might have to pay a little more money, but I'll be doing the right thing. I don't know how many people actually <laughs> volunteer to have the IRS come in and uh, do an audit just to be safe, you know? Um, now you might pay to have an audit done by an accountant or somebody else to make sure you're on the up and up, but by golly, to invite the IRS into your life, uh, yeah, that's a big step. And, and so imagine inviting God into your life, into your, your personal thoughts, into your, your personal uh, spiritual uh, life and saying, God, if there's any sin in me, if there's anything in here that you would object to, that would be offensive to you, then 
uh, come on in and search me and know me and reveal that to me. That's a huge step because uh, obviously we want to live by God's commandments. We want to follow his will and his ways. And we do the best we can. And there are times where we know that we make mistakes. But to take a step back and say, you know, God, even if there's something here that I'm not aware of, search me, reveal it to me. That way I know that I can move on and I can live better and I can walk better and more righteously before you. That's, well, that's a big step, but it's one we need to take. Because uh, like I said, sometimes we know where we've erred, sometimes where we know where we've mis, uh, misstepped, but to, do, to, to reveal those things that we don't even know and to invite God in and say, hey, I've confessed what I know. You know, why don't you search me and see if you can find something else? It's a step that we need to take. It's, 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 a, it's a step that's important in our growth and our faith because God already knows us. There's nothing that we can really hide from him. And so it's not like he's going to come in and find something he didn't know about and be like, man, didn't, didn't see that coming. So to be able to open ourselves up to God, that's how we're called to live. That's the way we're supposed to live. And that's uh, part of our path in life in righteousness. And so... I invite you not to uh, invite the IRS in unless you really feel like it and then knock yourself out. But uh, I do invite you to invite God in, into your hearts, to reveal your anxious thoughts, to bring you the peace that only comes from him. And second of all, to reveal to you any areas where you may need to do better or to change in your life, because that also is going to bring you peace. Peace because you're knowing that you're walking in the way, that you are walking in the way everlasting. And that's our goal. That's our goal for all of us if we're dedicated and truly committed as Christians to live the way we're supposed to live. I'd like to drag this out a little longer. I'd like to talk as long as I could because honestly, Char's still out there. But if I turn this off and pretend to talk a little while longer, I'll have some peace here too. <laughs> so anyways, good talking to you. I hope that uh, this uh, helps you in your walk. God bless you and I hope to see you soon.